All right, this is my first YouTube book haul for March 2023. In preparation for this channel, I might have gone a little overboard. I think I have about 20 books here. I'm going to start from cleanest and newest to oldest and mustiest. So let's get right in it. First off, I picked up Leviathan Falls, James S.A. Corey. I've read up everything up to here. I'm going to be starting this soon. I'm going to do a series review when I'm done with it. So look for that in maybe a week or so, however long it takes me to finish it. Now, the, the rest of these books <clears throat> I either got from eBay or a used bookstore, a couple used bookstores that are around in our area, and even a few from some thrift stores. I don't think I spent more than $3 for any book all in, so there was some lots from eBay that I got, and once I did the math, it was 2 to $3 each. <clears throat> oh, with one exception. I did find this book at a used bookstore. L. Sprague de Camp, A Gun for Dinosaur. And this made me think of you, Jess. I was kind of torn on it. It's It's got a neat cover. It's a book club edition. It was $15. Um, but as I was kind of debating on it, I looked at the back picture and I couldn't pass this by. So we'll see. It's a collection of short stories. And I think I've read L. Sprague de Camp before, so we'll see how it is. Next, I'm going to kind of speed through some of these. I got some lots um, from eBay. And some of these books I'd never heard of, some of these authors. Star Rigger's Way, Jeffrey A. Carver, book club edition. Never heard of that. We'll see how it is. John Varley, Wizard. Another, yep, an old book club edition. Uh, this, All all My Sins Remembered by Joel Haldeman. I just reviewed this and I had no idea what to expect. It was very interesting. Just, if you're interested in it, go watch the review. The Void Captain's Tale by Norm Norman Spinrad. And sorry, I might butcher some of these names, but. Alan Dean Foster, Cash A Lot. Kind of an interesting cover there. These are all old book club editions, but most of them are in really good shape. A lot of them don't look red. Some of the dust covers are a little beat up, but The Star Fox, Paul Anderson. Kind of a neat cover there. And there's our man on the back petting his kitty. Gotta love that. Another Paul Anderson, Traitor to the Stars. And here's another dapper fo photo of him. I've read a few of Paul Anderson. He's, I, I like him. He's not real deep. There's a lot of short books, but now this was interesting, Werner Vinge, Across Real Time. And this is actually two books compiled in one. It's uh, The Peace War and Marooned in Real Time. So two separate books. I'm, I've never read Werner Vinge and I know he's famous for that other book I can't remember the name of, but excited to read that. <clears throat> The Minervan Experiment, James Hogan. Now this is a thick, chunky one, but it is a collection of three books, apparently. Inherit the Stars, The Gentle Giants of Ganymede, and Giant's Star. So it's like an omnibus of this whole series, apparently. Look this up. This, this sounds interesting. Excited for that. Okay, now we're into some paperbacks. C.J. Sherry, Down Below Station. Always wanted to read this book. Cool cover. An old, this is an old Daw. It's in pretty good shape. 
nice spine still. So excited for that. Another one from James Hogan, uh, Inherit the Stars. That looks pretty cool. There's like two astronauts that found somebody out there. It's like, who is that? Is that one of their buddies? He's a skeleton, so it's got to be pretty old, but stick with the channel. We'll find out. Uh, Brian Stapleford, the Fenris device. I know I've never really heard of him, but I think this is a pretty interesting book. We'll see. Another Werner Vinge, the Whitling. That real interesting cover there. It's a short one, so yeah, we'll see. This one I picked up at a used bookstore just because of the cover, but I've heard of Jack Williams Williamson. I don't think I've ever read any of his. It's called The Moon Children, and it's just got this really cool cover, and the book was in just really good shape. I couldn't pass it by. Now, I... I picked this up too. I forgot that it was in the lot that I got from eBay in a hardback, but I'm glad I picked this up because this book is really interesting and I love this cover. This is Michael Whalen and it's just really cool. So keeping that. H. Ryder Haggard She. I've always heard about this book. It's been on my list to read for a long time. I know nothing about it. It's really old, I believe. Um, let's see if there's any copyright information. Yeah, this says 1967, but I think it's older than that. Maybe, maybe not. Philip Jose Farmer, To Your Scattered Bodies Go. I'm going to probably reread this one. Cool cover. And then the last one is another Paul Anderson, The Horn of Time. That was a pretty interesting cover. And this was one I picked up at a used bookstore and I mean, it is in perfect condition. So, excited to read this. And if you stick around to the end, there's a bonus here. I forgot to show this off. I was flipping through one of these books and you wouldn't believe what I found. This Jack Williamson, The Moon Children. Before YouTube did mid-rolls, this was a thing in books. About halfway through the book, there's a mid-roll ad for cigarettes. So I don't think you're gonna see that very often anymore, but pretty interesting. That's my book haul, I think 20 books. Um, a lot of old ones, but Give them, a, give them a read and we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching the video.